This video will cover the topic, solving a basic trigonometric equation involving tangent, cotangent, secant, or cosecant. In these problems, we will be asked to solve a basic equation that relies on knowledge of the fundamental trig identities. How basic of an equation are we talking about? To answer that question, let's look at an example. Say we're given the equation cotangent of theta minus 1 equals 0. We want to find all solutions to the equation, writing our answer in radians in terms of pi. When solving equations involving the trigonometric functions tangent, cotangent, secant, or cosecant, it's convenient to write these functions in terms of sine or cosine. In this problem, we need to solve the equation cotangent of theta minus 1 equals 0. If we add 1 to both sides, we see that cotangent of theta equals 1. Using our trig identities, we know that cotangent theta equals cosine theta over sine theta, so we can substitute this expression into our equation to result in cosine theta over sine theta equals 1. We can look at the unit circle and consider for each angle the ratio of the x value, cosine, to the y value, sine. We see that in the interval from 0 to 2 pi, the equation is satisfied by exactly two angles, theta equals pi fourths and theta equals 5 pi fourths. How can I be sure these solutions satisfy the equation cotangent theta minus 1 equals 0? We can substitute these angles into the equation to check. When we check our answer, we see that these angles satisfy the equation. Additionally, any angles coterminal with pi fourths or 5 pi fourths will also satisfy the equation. These coterminal angles can be obtained by adding integer multiples of 2 pi to each angle. This means we can write the finalized solutions to our equation in the following format. This notation implies that k is an integer. We also note that we can write the solution in a condensed form. As an additional tip, because the period of cotangent and tangent is pi, we could have obtained a condensed solution directly by finding one angle satisfying the equation and adding integer multiples of pi to that angle. Okay, so to solve a basic trig equation, we should know the trig identities in terms of sine or cosine. We should also be familiar with the unit circle and the notation in which we need to write our answer. That's exactly right. Great work! 